Hello, I'm Dr. Nick Delgado. I'm the author of Acne Be Gone for Good. My co-author is Dr. Sonia Batterisi Banasel, and she's a board-certified dermatologist. By now, hopefully you've taken the acne quiz, and I'd like to review those test results with you right now. One of the tests that we evaluate through a series of questions is called sex hormone binding globulin. This is a transporter binding protein that's produced in the liver and it's absolutely important to understand why it plays a critical role in the quality of your skin. We know that there are healthy ways to increase sex hormone binding globulin because when we do so it selectively attaches to testosterone and it loosely binds to estrogen as well as, as, well as about 17 other hormones. But the point is that by reducing the amount of circulating free testosterone, we're going to have less problems with acne. Furthermore, if we uh, keep in mind that DHT, dihydrotestosterone, also binds to sex hormone binding globulin, here is an elegant way, just by naturally increasing sex hormone binding globulin, to reduce the exertion of skin changing problems that can lead to pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, and even acne. So let's take a look at it. We do know that the ingredient DIM, methane, which is part of the cruciferous vegetables that we use in several of our products to help to calm down or to actually increase sex hormone binding globulin to calm down the androgens, that is testosterone and DHT. Now, when we take a product such as Estroblock Triple Strength or we use the regular Estroblock product, either one is very effective. Generally speaking, we'll have you take the product based on your body weight. If you're above your ideal body weight considerably, then take Estroblock triple strength. If you're near or closer to your ideal weight, Estroblock regular would be appropriate. We know that if you have high sex hormone binding globulin, this is beneficial. And the pharmaceutical companies have raced to increase the levels of sex hormone binding globulin using, of all things, birth control pills. And of course, birth control pills have side effects. So I would not encourage you to use this. And obviously, a woman can use birth control pills. But what does a man do? And many men have acne. So I'm going to give you a more elegant solution. That is simply take certain products that are concentrated in the cruciferous vegetables as if you'd eaten two pounds of cruciferous vegetables a day. And this will naturally increase your sex horm hormone binding globulin. We also know that a plant-based uh, whole foods diet tends to increase sex hormone binding globulin selectively while reducing the amount of animal product in the diet that will help to allow sex hormone binding globulin to remain at a higher optimum level. But we don't want too high of a level. Uh, I want to uh, call your attention to the fact that um, in some cases an individual might uh, develop um, high sex hormone binding globulin if they have cirrhosis of the liver, if they've been consuming alcohol for too long of a period, even if they're they've stopped or abstained from alcohol consumption but they've caused some cirrhosis of the liver or fatty liver or liver damage they may indeed have higher sex hormone binding globulin and this is not a good thing uh, obviously uh, individuals who uh, are stricken by cancer chemotherapy is known to increase sex hormone binding globulin uh, so the the methods to uh, deal with sex hormone binding globulin are very important in terms of what's selected now we don't want too low of a sex hormone binding globulin. Uh, lower levels are associated with obesity, with diabetes. Uh, we've uh, seen that there are problems with a uh, increase in prolactin, which prolactin is a hormone that if you eat a high fat diet, uh, it'll tend to increase. But if you switch to a lower fat diet, prolactin will come down and your sex hormone binding globulin will gradually increase to a safer level. And this is why many of the people who go on a whole plant-based oil-free diet uh, not fat free, they get their fats from nuts and seeds, avocados, olives in small amounts, but these individuals have glowing he healthy skin. The Kitavan Islands in South Pacific have excellent skin, they eat coconut and that's a natural source of fat, but they don't use the extracted oil such as coconut oil and consume it or drink it or use olive oil or corn oil or anything like that. So uh, keep in mind a healthy, uh, well-balanced diet. Now, the supplementation, uh, when you have sex hormone binding globulin, once again, how many weeks or months will it take to increase uh, sex hormone binding globulin depends on you. If you take uh, one capsule in the morning and uh, one at night, 
uh, of either ester block regular or ester block uh, triple strength, you're going to see improvements. Some people will see improvements within three weeks. Others, it may take as long as three months. I've had clients increase to three capsules a day to get better results, and they've seen uh, that benefit as it balances out sex hormone binding globulin, naturally increasing it as if you'd eaten uh, several pounds of, of vegetables a day, which is a healthy thing, but oftentimes people aren't willing to eat raw, raw cruciferous vegetables in the diet. So this is why we supplement uh, along with a healthy diet and exercise program. Uh, another product that we've created is DIM 259. Once your skin stabilizes and improves, you can use DIM 259, take it once a day, and that will continue to sustain your good results. I've had many of my clients tell me that when they've ta stopped taking uh, the dietary supplements, oftentimes their skin returns to a worsened condition, pimples, uh, breakouts, and, and acne. Uh, I will say that I've had a number of clients do very well with DHT block. If DHT, dihydrotestosterone, is your principal problem, there are certain special herbs and ingredients in this product that are designed to help modulate, that is to calm down the DHT that inevitably can build up in the skin and cause severe uh, outbreaks in the skin. DHT block, I've had many people take one in the morning, one at night. Some want to accelerate the results and have taken three a day. Uh, it's certainly safe and effective and natural as if you had just simply increased the amount of plant whole foods in your diet. I would encourage you to do both. Uh, next, I want to mention liver detoxification. If your sex hormone binding globulin, as I mentioned, is not in an optimum range and it's due to fatty liver or cirrhosis of the liver uh, or a problem related to cancer or chemotherapy or some other damage, uh, such as I mentioned alcohol consumption uh, or your diet is too high in animal-based proteins, these things all affect the liver. Uh, I would encourage you to use a product called Live Detox. This product is going to help to selectively calm down or heal the liver. Uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say it will reverse liver damage if it exists, but it will optimize liver function. Uh, this is part of the turmeric to calm down the inflammation, the fire in the body and in the skin, and there's multiple other ingredients in Live Detox that are going to help to improve the quality of your skin. So can you use EstroBlock with Live Detox? Absolutely, many people do. Can you use DHT Block uh, altogether? Yes, we've created an acne pack together where you can use all three products and they will work fine. It may be that you simply then just take uh, one less capsule of each and just taking uh, one capsule of each uh, per day, uh, that would be three capsules a day, uh, would help to meet your goals of healthy skin. So that concludes our section on sex hormone binding globulin.